Serpentine Chalet Dam, iconic Count's Point lookout, Serpentine Gorge. My name is Matt Brown and this is part 8 of my Lara Pinta Trail Impressions and Review series. Today's hike starts with a short detour to Serpentine Chalet Dam. The trail then follows the Hiwi Tree Range for 4 km before climbing steeply to its top. Here a short detour leads to iconic Count's Point with its expansive views. After about 2 km of ridge walking, the trail descends steeply back onto the plain below and soon reaches the campsite at Serpentine Gorge. Shelter, water and toilet provided. The walk from Serpentine Chalet Dam to Serpentine Gorge wouldn't be very long and wouldn't be very interesting if the trail weren't heading back up onto the, onto the Hebe Tree Range. That gives you quite a bit of a climb. Lots of steps. At least in the beginning. Lots of steps. Nicely built. But steep. Always pretty to see those sand ripples in the stone. Nice. It leads to one of the most iconic views. I would say of the whole Lara Pinta Trail, the Count's Point. Once you get to Count's Point, make sure to continue a few meters further for the actual view. If you hike up all the way on top of the Hiwi range and then don't walk to Count's Point, I think you're doing it wrong. It's definitely worth the extra detour. You can leave your packs at the, at the junction anyway. I had lunch there, I easily spent an hour just enjoying the view. It's looking back into this high valley you walked through the day before and of course you still see Mount Giles and Mount Sonder now already fairly small in the distance and Mount Seal behind it. Really really beautiful up there. Yeah and then you continue eastwards on the Hiwi Tree range. In parts it's gonna be rocky and gotta pick your steps carefully in parts it's gonna be easy going. The drop off to to the to the north this is just, just really steep which gives you great views into that part of the valley too what goes up must come down so you're gonna hike back down again from the range it's gonna equally challenging as it's steep even though they have serpentines put in there it's still gonna take time to get down there a few more kilometers and you get to serpentine gorge campground and this is the first time on this trail where I didn't really like the alignment of the trail, I gotta say. It could just wind down to Serpentine Creek and then over to the campground, but instead it takes maybe a one to two kilometer detour, which you have to walk, to the car park. Um, and for those who do day walks, I don't think it matters quite as much how far you have to walk. Um, and for those who, who are through hiking and have the heavy packs. It just felt a bit like an unnecessary detour in the end. And you're walking through the car park and all of a sudden there are all those people again and um, all those cars and you kind of get taken out of your, yeah, your wilderness feeling quite a bit. I would rate the walking surface definitely is hard on that day with the big climb and coming down from the range again. It's probably another four out of five, I would say, because it's just amazingly scenic once you're on, on top of the Hiwi Tree range. And Count's Point it, itself would definitely deserve a five out of five. But you have a bit more walking to do on that day than just that. As always, Please like, share and subscribe.
Leave any questions or thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.